Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Stella Grills and Chills. Hey, we finna cook a lot of great food today. So, hey, you know what time it is. Let's get it. So, yeah, we're gonna start off with our broccoli. And we're just gonna cut them florets right off of this whole fresh broccoli. Oh, yeah, don't forget to give me the LSS, y'all. That's that like, share, and subscribe. That like, share, and subscribe. But anyway, after we cut our florets out, I'll throw this away, y'all. We can use this for veggie stock. So let's get our broccoli on our drip pan. Now this is the drip pan that comes from my rotisserie. And we simply just gonna spread this broccoli out real fine. And then we gonna hit it with our little spritzy spritz, y'all. So if you're new to the channel, this is nothing but olive oil in a spray bottle, y'all. That's all it is. And after we hit it with that sprit, let's go ahead and rain on. Hit it with a little salt. A little pepper. Fresh, of course. Then after we get all that done, we gonna go on ahead and turn our attention to our chicken. Now, these little, I guess wing ends, you would call them. I always cut them off. Cause me and my wife, we don't eat those. So I cut them off, save them, use them for chicken stock, y'all. Then after we get them off, we gonna go ahead and rain on with a little salt and pepper. Hit him with a little bit of that cayenne. That cayenne, y'all. That cayenne. Then we're gonna hit him with a little bit of curry powder. Now we're gonna bring out our spritz one more time. Hit that skin and that seasoning up with that olive oil. Then we gonna rub that seasoning in. Now, of course, what we did to the top side, we gonna do to that back too, y'all. Then once we get it all ready, let's go ahead and get them on our rotisserie. Now the main thing that you wanna do here, you wanna make sure that you trap and get the quarters or the thighs hooked into what we doing and then we're going to take the two ends of the drumstick and we're going to tie those two together so they can function why is rotisserie around in there y'all Now once we get our legs tied down, we need to turn our attention to our wings. Now, our wings, we just gonna temporarily tie these until that meat tightens up a little bit. Then we gonna get this tie on off. But anyway, let's go ahead and get them into our rotisserie. Now peep the setup, y'all. As this chicken spins, it's gonna allow all that extra fat to drip down onto our broccoli, y'all. And hey, it's gonna make that broccoli even tastier. Now, once we get to the halfway point, we're just gonna hit that skin up with a little bit of olive oil, just so it can help brown that skin. That's all. Just trying to get a little help to brown that skin up. Now look at that, y'all. You see that juice 
just flowing right down on that broccoli. Oh my goodness, y'all. Tasty. Tasty. So once we reach an internal temperature of 160, now I said 160, y'all, not 165, because that carryover heat gonna get us that extra five degrees. So once we reach that internal temperature of 160, we gonna get them on out. And let's go ahead and carve this bird on up, y'all. Now, of course, y'all, you know we let this bird rest before we cut into him. Please don't cut into a super hot chicken. Now, I had me a leg and a thigh with my broccoli and some roasted potatoes. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I ate good, too. But anyway, you know what time it is. Love, peace, and keep it grilling, y'all. See ya.